name's Amy Watson and I am a customer service apprentice. Um, well, I did quite well in GCSE, so I moved on to A-levels basically to give me a bo bit more time, you know, think about what to do next. Um, and I did pretty well in my A-levels as well. Um, so I got an A and two Bs. The first apprenticeship I did was the level two in business administration. So you're learning sort of basic office skills and how an office runs. I moved on to the level three and became a supervisor for another apprentice. So I trained her in, you know, the things that I started out learning. And um, I'm now doing the customer service apprenticeship because it fits in more with what I do now because I'm dealing a lot more with, with customers. I wasn't given an awful lot of information about apprenticeships, in fact, probably none when I was at school. Um, I did my A-levels and they, they just presumed I wanted to go to university. Um, I wanted to get a job, so I applied for a few different ones. I'd get an interview for some of them and I'd get turned down because I didn't have enough experience. Um, so I thought, you know, there must be something else I can do. I had a look on the internet. Um, I think it was the Connections website when I came across apprenticeships and there was a link to Cambridge Regional College on there and an office job, which is what I wanted to do, you know, it's a good place to start. Um, got an interview there and surprisingly I got the job, I was actually quite amazed. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's sort of how I started. The main reason I didn't go to university was because I didn't know what to study, you know. Um, there was no real desire to be a doctor or a teacher or anything like that. And I didn't want to get into loads of debt, I wanted my own money, um, so it was simple as that really. And I thought, working in an office, every company's got an office, you know, so I'm always going to find something there, so I gave it a go. And it turned out right. <laughs> I start work at half past eight and I finish at five. Um, and my day involves all kinds of things, um, mainly it's out and about, you know, I'm travelling all around East Anglia to all kinds of different companies. As an apprentice, um, I do the job that I do anyway. It doesn't really feel like I'm a student in a way because I'm, I'm doing my job and my assessor fits around me. So um, she might come out with me on an appointment with, with an employer. Um, she'll just be there and she'll look at the way I respond to employers and how I behave with them and how how professional I am with them and she'll give me feedback as well which is really important and really helpful because it can allow me to improve on what I'm doing. There are exams but they're not like your formal writing down, you know, two hour exams, they're multiple choice online tests. Um, it's competency based so you just have to show what you can do in the workplace and they don't put so much pressure on you because they don't expect you to be perfect first of all you're there to make mistakes and that's how everyone starts so that's you know it's a good way to start a job i think um i think the thing i'm most pleased about is the fact that i've moved on from being an administrator to being an advisor you know it's quite a big jump and i'm really lucky that they gave me that opportunity so i've actually achieved a lot more than i thought i would when i started the apprenticeship uh, when i finished my apprenticeship there are several options for me and i'm not sure which way to go at the moment i could be an assessor if i wanted to so i could train people in business admin um so it'd be like going all the way around you know um I could be a team leader, I could, you know, manage the team I've got, um, you know, there's several different things I can do, not sure yet which. <laughs> I'd like to say to everybody that apprenticeships are a really good way to start your career and you don't have to go to university or do your A-levels. It's not just for people who don't do very well at school, it's for everybody, um, it's a genuine alternative and I think people need to have a bit more of a up-to-date understanding of what an apprenticeship is. I think people still think it's only for carpenters or but it's a lot more than that and it worked for me so it can work for you as well.